What's up, YouTube? Check it out. I changed it up a little bit. I put some of them old plants that I used to have way back when, back in. I'm thinking about getting a little bit of uh, moss for this uh, log. And then other than that, I did, however, change how I have everything in the tank. I have the heater still in the middle, uh, pretty much where it was, and I put the power head, if I get a shot of the, uh, pretty much center, uh, it's pretty big, <laughs> can't get the whole thing in, put it off to the left to kind of like push all that toward, uh, you know, the intake for my canister filter below. And then I have, of course, you know, this one little hang on the back. I normally stick, uh, I normally stick some, uh, like, um, polyfill in there. And then I have a cartridge of carbon in the other side. Other than that, there's probably like, uh, two, three, four or five different things in the, uh, canister filter below but uh, they're only like uh, two things, carbon and some polyfill. You can get it cheap at uh, like Walmart or your local store. Uh, just grab a bag. It's cheap, really, really cheap. You can get a big old bag, and it'll last you for a long time. That'll also help you guys get your uh, tanks looking pretty much like mine, you know, uh, clear water. Uh, that's pretty much it, you know. That's pretty much it. Um, other than that, you know, uh, did change it up. Oh, um, I, again, I know, uh, some of you are having problems with the, uh, the Eheim, but, uh, yeah, still, still pretty much on it. I changed my temperature. I'm out of the eighties, you know, since I'm not keeping discus anymore. And I mean, the fish did kind of like, like it, but it, it, it sent them into breeding a lot, so I don't really want to do that with the angels because, like, I've had a lot. I think if they chill out a little bit and then they just naturally go, then uh, I'll have better luck with that. Plus, I'm going to add a couple things to the tank uh, for them to be able to, uh, you know, get the young to to latch on to and all that. But, yeah, sitting pretty at 78.6. And, uh... For you cats that I know is going to ask. Because remember when I said you you line up the, uh, the the line and the red dot in the back. And then you turn the, the whole thing around. And then you turn it to your, your uh, desired temperature. This is to give you an idea. Uh, because I'm at 78.6. Let's see if I can. Oh, I'm in the shadow. I'm sorry. 78.6. Okay. And... As you see, I'll get a good shot of that. 78.6. Bam. Okay. Now, I'm going to show you why it's good to have one of these to back you. Especially with one of these beasts. Because they're great. You just got to play with them. I'm going to dive right into... And show you... Okay. 67 okay so there's 71 right so that's where i gotta be to be at 78 you know what i mean it, it, it's not much but you know and then there's 73 75 77 you know what i mean but that just shows you that you have to have one of these to back you up because that's just an idea of what the overall temp's going to be. And yeah, my mine's been kicking on because uh I've been messing with the tank and and stuff. Let me get my oh, Where is the front? Oh, I spun the whole thing around. There we go. And I'll put that back right where it belongs. I like to keep it down by the rocks a little bit because uh help warm up those pebbles and stuff that I put down there. Um, the Cory Cat loves to 
rub his belly across those. I got those actually, uh, funny story is, is I actually bought them from the dollar store. Uh, um, I saw these bags of rocks and I was like, oh, these are pretty cool. Like, and, uh, me and my fiance was, uh, you know, looking at each other like, we could do something with this, you know, so I was like, yeah, I could put some in the tank, you know, and it'd be a great thing, you know, kind of like natural, so I got them home, and, you know, I opened up one bag, and I looked at it, you know, decide if I was really going to go through with it, you know, adding things to your tanks, uh, you know, you need to be prepared if you do things like this, but, uh, you just rinse the rocks really, really good, hot water, just rinse them, and then what I do is because when you're adding a new when you're adding a new thing to the tank, you're gonna throw your pH off. Guarantee. So get yourself some of this. Neutral regulator. I go on Chewy. I'm not sponsored by any of these guys, okay? I'm just telling you what I do. Because uh, when you add rocks you're going to throw off the pH because you're adding something that that is not natural and it's just throwing the whole system off. But if you use something like this, it doesn't have to be exactly this stuff, but this stuff works really good for me. So I guess that's their little chip chip true for me, you know what I mean? I like your stuff. You know, it's a Seachem uh product. I I do tend to to lean towards them for most products but anyway whatever i mean you have to uh you have to watch your ph is what i'm trying to say and then uh you can get the master kits um i'll yank this one out okay so you'll grab yourself a master kit this is the freshwater master kit and you can test all your parameters it comes with uh all your oops i forgot there was a back sticker well you can see it from the side the test tubes that's old but uh i i test my water regularly guys and uh you should too you know you really should and uh the more you test your water and the more that you you uh you know you introduce to your tank, you need to remember that that wasn't there before and you cycled that tank. So whenever you cycle and you hear somebody say, oh, I got to cycle the tank, really it's you're getting that ecosystem rolling. You're literally starting that wheel's motion of life. So everything from the intake to, you know, the water that's coming in, the movement and uh, aeration of the tank, plus it helps move all the gunk to where it needs to go to exit. You still got to do your normal cleanings, but you know it helps a lot, and it, it makes it a lot easier if you if you do things this way. So uh, by all means, you know if if you like what you see and uh, if you like the ideas that I've that I've brought to you, hey, give them a try because I guarantee you it works for me and it will work for you. And I mean, it's very simple right now, you know. I I still don't know the direction that I'm going to go for decorations. So if you guys have any ideas, by all means, hit me up below uh, in the comments section. I would love to to hear your ideas you know hey i'm just a hobbyist just like you guys you know i'm just showing you hey this is what's up this is mine you know what i mean bam the beautiful 60 marine land it's what i'm rocking guys you know i got a, a canister filter i got you know all my chemicals and stuff underneath um uh, i keep my return uh which is a uh return rail it just evenly, you know, gives it across back to the tank as it comes in. This one hang on the back. But like I said, I just keep that up there for a little bit of polyfill. And uh, and that, that bag of uh, all the carbon. So other than that, in, in, out, 
spread it out and movement. But uh, that's it, guys. That's all I got for today. That is the update. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe. It helps. And, uh, you know, I'm thinking about doing this a lot more if, uh, if I can get enough of you guys to follow and whatnot. But uh, idea is, what would you do if this was yours? What would you add? Decoration-wise or anything. Your ideas come together as hobbyists. That's what's the best thing about aquatics. Hit that like below. Also, subscribe if you haven't. This is Danny from Starlight Aquatics. I'm glad you guys stopped by to check it out. That's what I got so far. Peace.